what is a queen? So I was having rehearsals with my students the other day. We were sitting down, class was going as usual. I was now teaching them about pageantry, about pageant modeling, how we have special award winners, how we have runner-ups, and how we have the queen. A very curious little girl raised her hand up. Ma'am, what is the queen? What is a queen? I was taken back by the statement because it wasn't something that I was expecting from a nine-year-old. I was expecting to hear perhaps, will I get some wings or do I get a crown? But she had to ask what was the queen. So I set the whole class down and we decided to talk and actually address the question together, what is the queen? So many different aspects came up, so many different perspectives were raised, but I found some to be more interesting and more curious than others, coming from nine-year-olds. Somebody said that a queen is a strong woman. I agree. We all know of Queen Elizabeth, and definitely to rule England for so long, she really was strong. Another student raised up their hand and they said that a queen is a powerful woman. Well, I understood that they were coming from a perspective of a chess player because on the chessboard, a queen has the right to move in whatever way that she wants. She can go diagonally, she can go back and forth, she can skip as many boxes as she will. I agreed with that because even in history, Queens are women that hold so much power. Another woman, another little girl now then said, a queen is the person who is the diadem. Now, wow. I had to take a minute to reflect on what she had said. A queen is the woman who wears the diadem. What is a diadem? A diadem is a jeweled headband or a jeweled crown that is worn as a symbol of sovereignty. I agreed. And definitely that brought me to thinking and that brought me to perspective about what the diadem represents. In the process of making the diadems, in the process of shaping them, the metals that are used, the metal that is going to be embedded with the jewels, the metal that is going to be used to hold all the gems together, it's not randomly selected. It's not randomly picked up from the ore and then crafted. It goes through a furnace. It is processed multiple times until it is refined, until it is strong, until it is durable. It's going to be a family heirloom. It's going to be passed down from generation to generation. It has to withstand the test of time. We cannot risk making a diadem with faulty material. We cannot risk using a cheap material or a cheap metal to make the base. We need something that is strong, something that is durable. We need platinum, we need gold, we need silver. The jewels that are going to be embedded within the diadem themselves, they need to be processed. We just don't go into a mine, pick whatever, oh, there's a jewel, we can use that. No, they are carefully curated. They go through so many microscopic stages just to make sure that they have the essence, just to make sure that they have what it takes to be on the diadem. Because now when they are on the diadem, they are going to shine. They don't only have to be original, they don't only have to be genuine, they also need to shine the brightest. Because it is the shine of the diadem, it is the shine of the jewels on the diadem that give them their glow. It is the shine that is going to give the wearer of the diadem pride. It is the shine that is going to set apart the wearer of the diadem 
from a person who is just not wearing the diadem. Power. Diadem signify power. A person wearing a diadem is no ordinary person. They're a person wielding so much power. They're a person who holds so much power in whatever field, whatever regard that they have. You know that what they say goes. What they say is what will happen because they have the power. Now let's look at our modern era. Let's look at our own diadems that we have. There's the women. Women are very much similar to diadems because women go through so much intricate processes. They are the gems of our society. Women are what make societies be. They are what make the world evolve. I dare say so myself. Women are strong. They have proven their strength over time. From generation to generation, we have stories of strong women that we pass on from young girl to the other. We have stories of women that were strong, women that dared to be different, women that took a stand that we still talk about, that we give as, as reference points because that is what women are. Women are strong. And just like the diadems, being passed on from generation to generation, we have stories of strong women, examples of strong women, women who embodied strength being passed on from generation to generation. We have the story of the... Oh. We have the story of Deborah. A strong woman who led a whole army of men into a victorious war. It was never done before. But women are resilient. Women did to be different. Women take the chance. She took the chance. We have the Dahomey Amazons, a warrior tribe of women that are well known for their fierceness and prowess in combat and their, and their ability to protect the king. The king in that region is safe because he knows that he has strong women who are protecting him, strong women who are backing him up. Women have always shined. Throughout the day, we have been hearing examples of wonderful women. We've heard stories of Oprah Winfrey. We've heard stories of, Mar of Mariah Curie. We've heard so many examples of strong women. Some have already stood on this platform. They were shining excelling in what they were doing, excelling in what they do best. We have stories of young women in the Bible like young Mary. She gave birth to young Jesus who became the savior of the world. We have stories of Michelle LaVon Robinson Obama, the first African-American first lady of the United States of America. She set the record. She broke the record. It wasn't easy being in that space, but her being in that space, she has made it possible for another young lady to believe that I can do it. She has made it possible. She has opened doors and opportunities for another young lady to stand up and say, if Michelle Obama did it, I can also do it. Yes, the journey is going to be hard. Yes, it's not going to be easy. Definitely no one is going to give it to me on a silver platter. But I am a woman. I embody strength. I embody resilience. I embody power. I will do this. Women are very, very, very beautiful. That is what sets them apart. I mean, look at me. <laughs> the reason why we embody Mother Nature to be a woman the reason why we have embodied nature to be a woman is because nature is so beautiful. There is no way you can look at a very beautiful flower and remain angry for more than five minutes. It eventually eases down whatever that you're feeling. It calms down all your nerves. Whatever that we use, aromatherapy, physiotherapy, massages, everything, we derive it from nature. We are using the benefits of nature. We are using the benefits of mother nature. 
We are using the benefits that another woman is giving unto us because of her beauty. Because of this beauty, wars have been started. Helena, the daughter of Zeus, was the reason why we had the Trojan War. Simply because she was very beautiful, men were willing to die for her beauty. Men were willing to go to war, to fight, to claim that beauty, to claim what theirs. We have Queen Esther. She saved a whole nation simply because she was beautiful. What more can women in our modern era do with their beauty? What revolution are women in our modern era going to start because they are simply beautiful? Simply because they are pleasant to look at. Simply because they walk in the room, we all recognize that they are pretty, and we would want to listen to what they're saying, and we would want to help them out. All of this combined, this is what gives women their power. This, uh, the ele these are the elements that give the diadem its glow. These are the elements that now make up womanhood. Beauty is the essence of a woman, but not necessarily the essence of womanhood. The essence of womanhood is drawn from so many things. And now when a woman has embodied, when a woman has come to appreciate and walk in her womanhood, that is Power. That is power. That is a powerful woman. That is a diadem glowing. That is a woman ready to take on the world. That is a woman who is ready to effect change in the world. That is a woman who is going to make a difference in the world. It's a woman who got fed up and said, I cannot keep on having to go to the library every day to search through multiple and multiples of books to find what I will do. I'm going to create the Wi-Fi. I'll create a system where whatever I need will be available on a series of web pages. It was a woman who said that, you know what, I'm tired of people getting sick. How can I use this virus and actually use it to cure people? And that's how penicillin was discovered. It was a woman who said that, okay, when I'm driving in my car, I need something that's going to be removing the snow on the windshield. That's how wind wipers were invented. When women get into their true essence, when women now embody their womanhood, when women have claimed their power, that is when the true revolution starts. That is when the true revolution now begins. So the essence of womanhood is their power, and that is what makes the diadem glow. This is where women draw their power from. This is now what gives women the audacity to walk into a room full of men and say, yes, I have a seat on the table. That is what gives women the audacity to be bold, to speak up and be heard and say, no, I will not take that to say, yes, this is how we're going to be moving. No, this is how things are going to happen from now on. That is now what gives women the ability to speak on platforms such as TED and be heard by thousands and millions of people across the world. No matter what a woman faces, no matter how hard it is, a woman is definitely going to brace through it. When people think that a pregnant woman cannot get her driver's license, that is when she's going to be the more determined to get it. That is when she's going to be more committed to get it. And she will get it. When people thought that women could not be able to vote, that is when women fought harder. The battle was tough. It was not easy, no one was coming to give it to us. But we stood, we fought, because we are women, we are strong, we are resilient, we are powerful, we are radiant human beings. Women carry so much weight on their shoulders. 
from being in the corporate world, dominating, breaking the glass ceilings, trying to get to a place of equity, to having to be mothers, having to raise children, having to train them up in the right ways that they should go, having to build up men and women that will be valuable in society, to having to be spouses. They are married, right? Their husband also needs their wife. They also have friends who also need someone to cry on. They are also part of the community. Women are so, so, so multi-purpose, and they are so, so strong and resilient, but it always somehow seems to go unnoticed. But women cannot give up. No matter what they face, no matter what happens, they know that they cannot give up. Even when the weight of the world is crushing them, even when they cannot keep on, they cannot give up. Because all that crushing process, all that refining process, it's processes that are adding on to their abilities. It's processes that are adding on to their capacities. It's widening and strengthening their tenacity. So now when they're faced with something similar, they will simply laugh because they've been through it. They know that they have little girls that are looking up to them, wanting to know how to face the world, wanting to know how to face the hate that is going on, wanting to know how to face the rivalry, the jealousy, the controversy, everything. They need to learn. They have the women, women are their role models. They are the people that they are going to look up to. Women cannot give up. That little girl needs to know, she needs to learn, she needs to learn and be by example. She needs someone, a reliable person, a reliable mentor that they can guide, that they can follow. A woman cannot give up. They have little boys that are looking up to them. The little boys might not necessarily learn masculinity from them, but they are going to know what to look for when they are now looking for a life partner, when they are looking for a woman who is going to raise their own children, somebody whom they are going to spend the rest of their lives with. They would have learned from the woman. A woman cannot give up. They have men in places that are looking at them, wanting to see just how far that audacity will take them, wanting to see just how strong, how rebellious they can get, wanting to see just how much of it they can take, wanting to get on their last nerves just to see whether they will falter or not. Yes, we're saying there's a space on the table for you, but can you actually sit on the table? A woman cannot give up. She has many women who are also looking on to her, who are also looking up to her, wanting to learn how to also handle such situations, wanting to learn how to also manage such situations. At the same time, there are also women who are mimicking her, women who are mocking her. Oh, so she thinks she's all that? No, you think she's all that. That's why you're looking up to her. A woman cannot give up. A woman simply cannot give up. All of these things that women face, all of these trials, tribulations, they all add up to a woman's resilience. They all add up to a woman's tenacity. They all add up to a woman's capacity. And these are what make the diadem glow but it always all goes uncertain. We all know a woman in here who's been going through it, who's been giving it her all, who's been fighting, who's, who hasn't given up yet, who cannot afford to give up yet. You are a woman in this room. You feel so unseen. You feel like you have given it your all, but still nothing has come up. Can we all please stand up? To all the men, please tell this to a woman. We're going to do a very short exercise that is very helpful 
that I believe that all of us need to do. I don't know when last was the last time you heard these words. So please put a hand over your heart and tell yourself, I am strong. I am resilient. I am radiant. I am beautiful. I am powerful. I am a diadem and I will glow. Thank you for coming to my table.